being a challenge. And really, I think I'm um, eluding those categorizations of liberal or conservative, but because I mean, the church isn't uh, another state or government organization um, that transcends all that. And um, I think he's done a great job in sort of returning, or in his style of really getting back to the essentials of what the gospel says and, and Christ as not just a theoretical or an abstract truth, but as an existential truth. Um, and in the document, encouraging from the very beginning, everyone needs to have an encounter with Christ, um, not in some uh, you know feeling or uh, I mean those are good, but um, you know do you really believe that Christ is um, the truth and the way, and, and sort of encapsulating not only faith without works is dead, but also works without faith is dead. I think his his style and his message of uh, leading the church is. Uh, struck a really nice balance in doing that um, from his very first, you know, after he was elected, that first message to the Cardinals, uh, his first homily to the Cardinals, saying, you know, the church isn't just another NGO. It's, you know, everything we do has to be in the name of Jesus Christ, otherwise we're preaching uh, demonic worldliness. Um, but at the same time, not just relying, uh, dwelling in the realm of, um, yes, we believe Christ is the truth, but not, not living it out, not doing anything. Um, so I think he's he's played that um, part of leading the church and um, reminding of the church what does it mean to be a Christian, what does it mean to be a follower of Christ and, and the priority and, and how do you align your priorities in that, in that.